Morgan Hilliard, another amazing drummer with an awesome home studio setup. Apparently he had just got his remote drum set up in February last year, right before everything got locked down. So he does remote drum sessions. He is a drummer for a band called Leland. He does a bunch of other sort of contracted drum work. Really nice guy. He also has a relationship with this drum company that I'm really stoked to talk about. So you'll see that in the walkthrough. And then randomly last year, he and a friend decided to start a drum sample company using his home studio. Now you hear that and you go, okay, bedroom drum samples. Um, but dude, they are sick. And the drums that he sampled are ridiculously good. They're so cool. And the drum company, you got to check it out. I'm going to link everything down in the description. If you guys want to go pick up the drum samples, go to the website. It's drumsampleshop.com. And he also has uh, a symbol pack, which I kind of don't understand. But when I heard him, I was like, whoa. <laughs> this is cool and for a mixer sometimes it's nice to have stuff like that that you can throw in there the sample packs are super reasonably priced i think it's 39 bucks for the the us uk drum kit but if you use the code epic 15 just for being a viewer of this video on my channel then you get 15 percent off at checkout for whatever you order go check it out if you like drum samples if you like epic sounds these are super good and links to paid in the website and the drum company down in the description. Definitely don't forget to check out andrewmastersmusic.com. You can book Zoom call consultations with me. You can do mixing, remote drum sessions, all that stuff, andrewmastersmusic.com. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's go check out Peyton Hilliard's studio. <laughs> Welcome to Pepe's Drum Cave. Wow. Yeah. What was this room? Uh, It was a bedroom. Bedroom, okay. I think. Okay, so bedroom. Yes. And closet back there. I think master closet, yeah. Slash, there's a pipe going through it. Yeah, it, it's a, it's a <laughs> multi-purpose room, you know? Okay, so uh, do you know the dimensions of this room? Uh, no idea. I'm gonna eyeball it here. We're cool. gonna we're gonna make numbers I up. I do have a tape measure. Do no, wanna, no, no, okay. no, no, no. This is more fun when I pretend. Okay. This is 12 <laughs> feet by 10 feet. This is 12 feet by 10 feet room. Bet. Foot. <laughs> Obvious challenge. Yeah. Is small space. Yeah. And for then sure. even smaller space in the other room. Yes. And challenge for me, very dark room. Very so we, dark. I'm so we sorry. set up these lights in very obvious spaces, but that's fine. We can see it looks really good. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm it's... those moody like studio guys, you know, classic. <laughs> darker the better but it's it's definitely got a sweet vibe if i had a cooler lens hit that donate button in the description <laughs> it's gonna be down below <laughs> we can get those moodier shots but until then it's bright lights tell me a little bit about how you took this bedroom and turned it into what you're using it for now that's a great question man it's always good to have really good like baller friends that know what they're talking about yeah before you just kind of dive into something uh that guy for me is chase but no so basically okay so crazy thing is actually the drums weren't even in this room at first they were in there yeah me thinking like oh like you know the tighter the better like controlled it's gonna sound but obviously it sounded like a tiny closet room yeah so we quickly swapped them over here man it really just started off with like just kind of like clapping you know kind of clapping like those symbols are activating those just basically finding all the pings and the wobbles and all the annoying stuff that you're not really wanting to hear in the mics and that's kind of why these are all placed kind of wonky they're not perfectly symmetrical to look you know and sure. looking but that's where the ping was it was where the walls were talking to each other so we just kind of placed them there and uh, i know everybody has one of these don't look at it i'm sorry please my embarrassing moment this is my i'm not looking this is my, I've got to finish this because there's supposed to go, there's supposed to be one right there. <laughs> Classic. That's cool. This took me uh, way too long to finish this. And that's why there's not another one on that wall. But, yeah, I'm going to get those when someone else can build it for me. Yeah. That's it, when I'll get one. It was, it's, it's freaking heavy too. Oh Good yeah. Lord. It like, we had to find the studs and just like all in it, but. I think it does stuff. I hope it does. It looks like it does. No, it, for sure. It's, it's making a big difference. It sounds way better now that it's yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's oh, night and day. Night and day. Yeah, but I mean, as you can see, like, it's it's not a, 
a, a wood floor room or anything. It's just carpeted, but hey, it, you know, it, it works for me. Like, Dude, carpeted sounds really good. Yeah. It does, I mean, in most hard surface rooms, when you check drums, first yeah. thing you do is you put down carpet. Rugs, you know, giant rugs. Sometimes you put carpet on carpet. Yeah. <laughs> just doing, you know, remote sessions. So yeah, that's kind of how it started. You know, I, I've toured for years and did that. And then obviously the, you know, the world kind of shut down. So it was kind of a, okay, well, I wanted to do this always. So I guess this is a perfect time to do it now. Yeah. And uh, started that, doing that um, in February of 2020. And since then, man, it's just been keeping me busy. So I started off doing that and then Around, you know, I was working with this one producer, a guy named Johnny, Johnny Bird from the UK. And uh, he hit me up one day and he's like, hey dude, like we are working together all the time. He's like, why don't we do something like crazy? Like maybe like start like a drum sample company or something like that. And uh, I was like, heck yeah, dude, I'm game for anything right now, you know? <laughs> um, I think he low-key thought it was just gonna be kind of like a, you know, a, a, a side hustle type deal. Yeah. But that's not what I had in mind at all. I was like, you saw going, opportunity. Oh yeah. I was like, let's go for it. And so, yeah. So with that, we, it was literally like a text, like, Hey, should we like sell drum samples? And I was like, heck yeah. What do we call ourselves? And he's like, well, uh, drum sample shop, the domain name is available. You want to get that? <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, sure. And he's like, cool. Cause I just bought it. I'm like, all right, well, I guess we're called drum sample shop. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of started off like that. Like, all right, here we go. We're, we're a drum sample company now. What do we do? And it was kind of, well, just make a pack and go for it. And so. <laughs> when was that? I'd say like September. Okay, of wow. 20. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a fantastic turnaround. And then, yeah, we released our first pack in November. So called US UK. And yeah, it's wild. <laughs> What's this kit? Tell me about this. I've never seen this before. Yeah, this is a company called WFL3. It is a newish company. They've been around for a few years. They're actually made by a Ludwig family member. Oh, really? William F. Ludwig the third. Oh, cool. Yes, they're amazing. I love them. Um, I got connected with them at the beginning. Of so they're WF3. WFL3, yeah. WFL3. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. William Makes F. Sense. Ludwig. It's amazing. Yeah. It's awesome. Just to you know, because he's kind of like the last guy in the family to do drums. You know, I guess with that name. Right. Um. But yeah, he, he went out and ventured and did this, and uh, man, I love them. They're they're literally you know '60s Ludwig's with brand new packaging. They're just they're, so yeah. So is it the same? It's the wood from the '60s, or how, how does how, it's the? It's the same specs as they would have okay, made. Okay, so in they the, built it the same. Yeah, got it. Just you know, three uh, ply maple shells with maple re rings, basically. And man, they're just incredible. They've got that tone that you want, and just. Yeah, like I said, brand new packaging, basically. You know how the old Ludwig kits, I mean, you have a couple of vintage kits, you know yeah. how like the hardware on it's kind of like starting to give. Right, and, yeah, yeah. And that's, it's basically brand new and they sound just like a vintage Luddy and I love them. Um, and that snare is the uh, the 1909 uh, aluminum snare. It's one of my favorites right now. It's literally my go-to for- And this is from the same company? Yes, from the same company. If you actually see too, like, I don't know if yeah, you have those the holes, the yeah. vents, that so looks incredible. Laser cut. Yeah, and all the, um, actually all the vent holes on the drums are actually in the three on the badges. So wow. So I kind of just incorporate that. But um, yeah, they're oh, out of Kansas wow. City. They're awesome. Yeah, I just sell that on the kick drum. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, yeah, so like it's, that's a hole. That's the hole in the three. That is so cool. I love it, yeah, it's just using the space, you know, not taking up too much real estate. That is awesome. How did you find find this company? A couple of guys in town just connected me with them. So when you get the samples from Drum Sample Shop, yeah. that's the name of the company. Yeah. The website, drumsampleshop.com. Yes, sir. You guys have sampled all these drums. Uh so far just this kit. Just this kit. Just oh, this sick. kit. And that's yeah. the US UK kit? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. So it's basically yeah. all these and then this it's that snare drum, which is kind of our staple. And then it's this bad boy, the 8x14 Mahogany Yeah. Uh, by WFL3. It's uh, There's two tunings of that. And so there's like a higher tuning and a lower tuning. And then, so that's our first drum sample pack. And then we just released our cymbal sample pack yep. with that's all these cymbals. That's the Gong one? What's yeah, it called? King Gong. King Gong, King yeah. King Gong. <laughs> Dude, they sound really good. I, I went through and, and watched yeah. all your guys' videos. They sound really, oh. really good. Thanks, bro. Um, and that's not an easy thing to do. So 
Yeah. Good it, job. It was, yeah, it, and so like, you know, Johnny, the co-owner, he's he's a, he's a producer, so he's like, basically, we kind of just beta tested like a lot of ideas. We're like, hey, what do you guys need? Like, you know, yeah. producers around town. And they all actually said cymbals at first. Yeah. But, you know, we were like, well, we can't call ourselves Drum Sample Shop and not release a drum sample pack first. Sure, you know? yeah. So, it was kind of like, well, we want, always wanted to do a cymbal pack first, but it, we just had to segue it into it with drums. Um, but yeah, so like the cymbals, man, like that that took three months yeah. to do. It was a long Heck time. Yeah. So it's got like, yeah, it's wild. It's got, I think, over like 601 shots. I know it has 4,178 loops. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't even want to ask a follow-up. <laughs> If there was a camera on me, it would have just seen me like sitting in my pajamas just hitting symbols for like, you know, 10, 12 hours a day, basically. Yeah, and catalog cataloging all that oh, stuff. It was, it was no, I hated no symbols. Fun. I yeah. hated symbols after that. But uh, no, so and like that, the reason why there's so many loops is we did, we did um, these ribbon, uh, ribbon overheads and then also uh, vintage uh, 414 nice. uh, uh, condenser overheads. So there's two options because I know a lot of people like you know, picking between those two. Sure. Yeah. That's awesome. So, what other kids you got to go over here? Yeah. Um, let's see. So, got a 70s Rogers kit, big R. These are just fantastic. I feel like. Is that a 22? 22, yeah. 22, 9 by 13, 16 by 16, and the 8 by 12. Um, man, these just just been like, you know. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. They're, yeah. they're classic setup, you know. I mean, everybody knows a big R badge. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's just they—they're like vintage modern almost. And then what's that CCP down there? Yes, yeah, so that was actually my first custom kit. Sadly, they've gone out of business. They were called uh, Chicago Custom Percussion, and uh, they were great. They were a really great company. One of the nicest dudes I ever met. The owner, he actually hand delivered this this kit to me. Um, That's amazing. He drove them down from Chicago. Wow. Dropped them off at my house, and I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. that's awesome. I'm like, well, sweet, dude, are you gonna hang around town? He's like, nope, getting back to Chicago right now. Long drive, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool, thanks, bro. The kits that I had, and this is basically the same wrap. It's not a wrap, it's actually a spray, the paint. Um, but it's the same as that, but just 26. Wow. Yeah, so. Wait, so that's a spray? It's a spray, it's not wow. a wrap. Yeah, it's not a spray, it's not a wrap. Uh, yeah, I, I don't Good know how job. to do it. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a, that's when he told me remarkable. When they told me it was like, hey, yeah, we we do sprays and stuff. We can do wraps. We can do sprays. I was like, okay, yes, please give me that. I want to try that. Just opens up the drum more. And then I got an eight by twelve for that kit as well. And then all you the snares. You got a snares. CNC up there. Yeah, it's actually not mine. It's on loan, but oh, it's nice. kind of. What other snares here. you got up there? This is a WFL three uh, mahogany five by fourteen. And then a 68 Acrylite. And then I just Ooh. got this. Yeah, it's, I love it. I love seeing that stamp on the inside too, that 68. Yeah. Um, this is a, a 90s, I believe. I can't figure out the serial number yet, but it's a, a Galaxy Acrylite. So it's got that like black sparkle paint on it. Um, it's nice. really cool. It's like pop-ish sounding. And this is a Risen, um, basically a Risen Black Beauty. So What's it called? Risen? Yeah, Risen Drums. R I S E N. Yeah, yeah. So they 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 were a great company for years as well, but then they just uh, changed their name to Franklin Drum Co. Oh, cool. So they're a new company, but. And yeah. then are you guys planning on sampling some of these? Definitely, definitely. I don't, I'm not sure. We've got some packs in the works. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple back pocket packs. We're ready to release soon. But definitely want to try out the 26. Man, it's just. Yeah, that's a big drum. Big bro. boy. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about these microphones. What microphones are you using on these drums? For sure. On the kick in is an old DS35, uh, EV DS35. Uh, I literally found it for like 20 bucks on eBay. And it just, wow. Yeah, it just has that like, I just really wanted that click, that you know, yeah. attack, basically just to be able to find the transient really well. Yep. Um, uh, but I kind of just like the the tackiness of it. You know, some people use that to replace it with a sample, but I just I like the sound of it as yeah. it is. And then you got the AKG D112, you know, and the kick in still kind of like right yeah. there. It's got that kind of more mid range. Um, and then this bad boy, this is my favorite, is the Chandler TG EMI mic, the FET condenser. 
Oh man, like I love it on Kick Out. It's great. My wife's a, a singer songwriter as well, and so it, it, we kind of we were just really trying to find a, a dual purpose mic. You yeah, know, it was great on her vocal and. But yeah, seriously, that that thing's incredible. I, I can't. I love when you find a great vocal mic that also you can put on a kick drum. Oh yeah. Because it's just so shocking that it works on a female yeah. vocal and a kick drum. Yeah. And it's a TG. Yeah, a Chandler Limited uh, TG EMI uh, FET condenser. EMI FET condenser, sick. Yeah. It's awesome. And then if we move up on the toms i've got some old i think they're 60s uh bear dynamic m81s they're kind of like the grandpa mini versions of the sennheiser 421s in a way i sent them to a mixing guy one time and he he literally said hey yeah i love the the 421s on your toms i'm like ah they're not though you know yeah so it was kind of cool for the geek mic or the knee mic, you could say is the AKG. I forgot the number of it. I just got this not too long ago. The D190E. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's um, it's interesting. It's got some cool tones to it, but I love it just right in that space, you know, to capture kind of the middle part. As my mono overhead, I've got. I love this mic. This is a. Don't mind the cable. That is not the right cable for that. <laughs> uh, classic. I need to get it fixed, actually. I really bummed it. it the ribbon just blew on it the other day. Um, it is an old Shure 330, uh, just ribbon. Sweet. And they're kind of hard to find, but I found it for a decent price. And I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to try it. I really want a pair, but yeah. I'll take that as I can. Um, yeah, it's great. It sounded amazing when it worked. Yeah. But <laughs> So now I gotta give it face. For the overheads, these are also ribbons as well. Uh, these are Bash Audio. Cool, it's this guy from Russia, and man, he's making some killer microphones. Um, yeah, and like he even has sound samples of them, like compared Whoa. to Coles on his website. <laughs> and uh, man, they they they're right there with them. They sound great. Really? Yeah. How much are they? Uh, I think they were like three hundred for a pair. What? It? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. No, no, it wasn't bad at all. 300 for a pair? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I, I want to say that much. It's around that price. Link in the description, y'all. I know, seriously. <laughs> no, they're incredible. They're incredible. I can't get enough of them, honestly. They just, they got that warmth, you know? And that's what we, we track. So we use the Vintage 414s, yep. um, the BULS uh, version. And then we use these for our ribbons. And they just, they sound incredible. I love them. Um, on the hat is actually a 414. BULS. Um, it's not mine. It's on loan as well. I'm thinking about buying it from him. It's got a little bit of a issue going on here. If you can see, there's a little bit of tape. A little vintage love. Yeah, exactly. So um, still debating on purchasing from my buddy, but I think I will because it's just baller. On the snare top is my new favorite mic that I just got yesterday. Oh, is yeah. the uh, Bear Dynamic 201. I know you know these. You love these yeah, too. Yeah, these are awesome. Man, like if I could get a whole set just for snare top, snare bottom, and toms. I totally would, and I think I will later. But for right now, I'll just stick with the one. Um, yeah, these are fantastic mics. It's just that like, that hypercardioid just like, you know, cancels out anything and just gets that snare tone that you want. Yep. And it's just amazing. Snare bottom, sure, 545 Unidyne. 545 Unidyne, where'd yeah. you get that? eBay. Yeah. eBay? Yeah. Just making deals, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's crazy. If you literally, um, you know, if you just wait and just, you know, I think the problem is we, we run into, you know, like- I need oh, it now. Yeah, I need it now. I need it right now, you know? And some things you do need right now, yeah. you know? A lot of times for me, it's, I can get it now. Yeah. And it's burning a hole in my pocket, so I'm gonna get something now. Exactly. I'm not gonna lie, this was the, I'm gonna get it now and I don't even care what it costs. And yeah. Then, but we'll talk about that. Um, <laughs> but you know, if you wait and shop deals and do stuff, but like, even like the preamps. So all the preamps over here, I actually handmade them with my buddy Chase. I'm, I'm talking about Chase Weber, look him up, he's incredible. We hand built all of these. These are AML 1073s, basically just a clone of the preamps, uh, the, you know, Neve preamps two Cappy VP28s, and then two Hairball Lola's. They're actually modded though. Um, we had to try to fit a, uh, I think it's a transformer, I'm sorry, I'm not very technical. Yep. Um, 
they wouldn't fit on the PCB cards. Yep. So we had to like jerry rig it and we told Hairball, we're like, hey, we're gonna try this. And they're like, please let us know if that works and yeah. tell us because we'll try to do it ourselves. So yeah. it worked. And nice. It, they are probably like some of the cleanest sounding preamps I've ever heard. That's great. It's kind of cool. Hairball, Cappy, and what uh, were the first AML. One? AML. Yeah. Audio maintenance or something like that limited, uh, I think. They're from the UK, but they're great. And then everything's just kind of running into uh, two, I'll close my laptop, two Apollo interfaces. Got the 8P and got the uh, old silver face, the new Thunderbolt nice. card. Yeah. So. Heck yeah. It's great. It works for me, you know. And then what computer is that? So it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> don't judge it. It's an old 2012 Mac. Okay. It's still rocking, you know. It's and like, is that a remote control or what are you doing with that? No, I'm tracking here. So yeah, it's kind of a wonky setup. I'm tracking here and I just wanted to keep all my preamps really close to me so I can yeah. dial in. Sure. And then um, when I want to edit or, you know, time and comp, I'll basically just put it on a, my hard drive and drop it over here, plug it into this Mac mini that I have over here. And, gotcha. Yeah. So. It works, for, it's not the smoothest thing, but it, it works for me. So you so. got a tracking rig and then an edit and mix rig in the other yes, room. Yes, basically. Now, are you using these Audio-Technicas back here? Yes, these are the rooms. Yeah, so just kind of Are these the 4030s, uh, what are these? 4040s. 4040s. So, yeah, so it's just great. They work great and they just capture the room, you know. Kinda. How are, you, are they in Omni, what are you using them in? Uh, no, they're, do, um... Do they go to Omni? No, they don't, actually. They're actually... Cardioid? Isn't. Yeah, it's just cardioid. Cardioid, wides. Yeah. Close, close rooms. Yeah. And then you have some far rooms. Yes. I have some... That's some right. interesting far rooms. All right. Um, uh, and then, is that a sub kick back there? Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, we made that. It's great. It's, um, a, it's a light clamp right now. Yeah. It really is, though. It works great for that. I'm gonna put lights there now. Yeah. I, I promise you. Yeah, it, it, sub kicks are great. They're not great for everything, but right. they, yeah. they work sometimes. So when yeah. they work, they work really well. Yeah. I'd say like, you know, once I find something I like, I'm like, cool, I'll use that for a little bit. And then after a few months, I'll just toss it out the window and like yeah. try to restart. Yeah. And that's kind of that. You know, it's like, yeah. I'll use that for a lot, but I'm like, toss it out the window or in yeah, the corner. I think the rule for me is like, once it has a certain amount of dust on it, Yeah. it's time to replace it. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I'm let's check the out the uh, the listen room. Let's do it. The edit room. Welcome. So this is, again, a closet. Yes. This is very wow. much a closet. So this is tiny home living yes. studio life. Minimalistic. Yeah, so if you can believe this, all of what was in that room over yeah. there was actually in this room at one point. Oh my gosh. Don't ask me how. Yeah, it sounds very sweaty. Don't ask me why. Yeah. I'm trying to get back. Like, if you go to my, like, page, you, you'll see the videos I had. I'm just, like, just trying to climb over a drum set to get oh, to the throne was the worst. It's stressful. Um, yeah, but, oh, yeah, so, like, continue the mic story. These are my far rooms. Right. Okay. Okay, yeah. so those are coming in here. Yeah. And basically getting a 100% indirect sound of the drums. Yes. Stereo. Yeah. SM81s. Yep. Classic. That's cool. How do you yeah. like them? I do. I like them a lot. Like, it, it's funny, you know, I was like, okay, I'll just throw up something. But like people, like producers really like them for some reason. Yeah. They're like, oh, I love that. I think it's really, it's really good for whoever's like receiving the tracks yeah. to not know what the mics are. Yeah. yeah. Because sometimes when you know it is, you'll judge it before you even hear it. Exactly. Versus if you just yeah. judge it by listening. Oh yeah. Always keep it a secret. You'll be keep surprised. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, if it works for you, it works for you. And it sounds good, that's even better. You know? That's all that matters. That really is. But, and, um, and the take. Yeah, exactly. And the drums right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. I'm a little space. There's a lot of lights in here right now, but usually it's like kind of dark yeah. and dim lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, it's a nice, like, calming space. So, so uh, did you make all these panels? Yes. Me and my dad. We, that's my awesome. dad is a, is a baller. He knows how to make everything. He knows how to hang all of it and literally, like, yeah. Um, Panels are not that hard to make. Yeah. I, I mean, don't judge me on this exact price, but I'd say $25 per panel. Yeah. In the grand, or, yeah. In or, materials. Or less. Or less even. Yeah. yeah. Went to Home Depot, got some, you know, wood, rock wool yep. insulation. Works yeah. great for One me. pack. Yeah. It like, comes with 24 slices. Yeah, yeah. For a pack. And then the fabric from Hobby Lobby. 
That's awesome, man. Yeah, so it works. All right, so, and here you are running a Mac Mini. Yes. And it's silver, is that the M1 or is that the 2012? It's, it's, it's actually a 2011. 2011, oh, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's old. Uh, like I said, I, you know, it's just, old stuff but I hey man it. if it's if it's still working you yeah, know that's it's still cranking I will say I'm like okay cool I'm holding on to it it's gonna die what, on me soon but. what operating system are you on um I is think it Catalina Sierra. oh okay interesting yeah. high Sierra okay so the new Pro Tools works on high Sierra yeah Good to know. oh yeah yeah it does uh, I was very surprised oh, yeah because okay, not even I can't even update the newest to the newest logic yeah, that's right. Yeah, because I I was doing that today. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, you need that thing. Your... Yeah, but Pro Tools works on it and everything. So I was like, cool. And it, it it's smooth. I mean, I've created you know SSD on the inside and like 16 gigabyte hard drive, but it works. So, cool. Yeah. And then what interface are you playing? Because in here you're not tracking. You're just monitoring. Just yeah, monitoring. So technically, well, actually, if you see, there's like a hole over here that we cut through the wall and I okay. I scored a I don't know how, let's say eBay. I'm just just wait for just wait on eBay. Yeah. I scored a 100 foot Thunderbolt optical cable. A 100 I don't know how, what? way cheaper than they wow. they go really a lot. Really expensive, yeah. But um yeah, so I got a 100 foot. I don't I was like, "Cool, I'm just going to get it." Um, so basically, I just have my Thunderbolt from my, um, I, have, I have one that goes into the Mac over there. Yep. And then I'll just swap it when I want to have all my UAD plugins over here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And then I can still use all the, the you know, the channels from over there if I want to track something. And yeah. And kind of run the helm from here. Interesting. Yeah, it's a weird setup. Don't judge me on it. I'm sorry. How's the listening back, listen back work, the monitoring? Oh, yeah. That's, that's interesting. So there's a way to do it. So I basically figured out there's a YouTube video this guy figured it out he basically would send channels from logic into the console or virtual channels versa. yeah something like yeah, that yeah. it's it's a wonky setup I, I I did it so long ago I forgot how it goes but yeah it works that's where you can listen through here that's awesome so yeah. and then in here you have the is that the interface the complete yeah it's just yeah it's just basically like a monitor controller with like Kind of turn it up volume. So your speakers are connected to that. Yeah. That is the complete audio six. Yeah. Yeah. Really. This is this is this is probably a super popular thing. For yeah. Like beat makers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's so you know a lot of people Two have like threes. the Apollo, you know, like twin stuff. But yeah. this worked for me. I, I used this for like when I was doing tracks live with our band Leland and. It worked great. Playback yeah. tracks? Yeah, just super easy. Sweet. Nothing really Portable, yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw it in a backpack. It's great. And then are these the HS7s? HS8s. HS8s. Okay, yeah. nice. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. They work for me, you know. Sweet. Some people would tear them apart, but... <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it's such a silly thing to sort of judge. It's, you know, it's yeah. just as silly as somebody to me being like, yeah, NS10 sound terrible. It's like... Yeah. 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 Of course they do. Yeah. That's why we have them. <laughs> I love it. That's why we got them. Uh, yeah, they they work great though. I think I got them from like a pawn shop. Oh, Something nice. Wild. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> and then what about this desk? Oh yeah. So, um, like I said, my dad is just kind of a maker of all things, and he he made this desk. Wow. He literally welded everything. I kind of just told him the specs, and you know. What I wanted to look like, and he's like, "All right, got you." You know, it looks super solid. Yeah, it oh, looks yeah. heavy. He literally, he stood on it and was like, "Yeah, you could, you could drop a bus on this, and it's, it's great." <laughs> um, yeah, he got all the, you know, the metal and welded it all together in the wood. We just kind of screwed it in from underneath, and then sanded it and stained it, and it's actually the same stain as the uh, diffuser in the other room. I kind of wanted to go more like, you know, mahogany colors. Mm -hmm. darker reds browns and stuff like that kind of i guess with like the the books and all that you know that's kind of the the yeah. vibe is like you know having i know it got really dark right now probably because that door got super moody yeah i know <laughs> see it's, it's, like, it's a vibe see? yeah I'm late night you just timing <laughs> drums <laughs> you get in the moods bro Dude, this is mad cute yeah <laughs> So cute, dude. But uh, yeah, so it's just, oh, and then, yeah, I got the the bass in the corner, you know, classic. Everybody, I feel like everybody's got a bass in the corner somewhere. P-Bass? P P-Bass. 1983 USA P-Bass. Wow. Craigslist, Craigslist fine. That was great. Can I borrow that? 
Totally. Anytime you want, bro. Sweet. I'm gonna borrow it just for like the rest of this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just. It'll sit in the corner. Yeah, but, but if you need it. But hey, it's my corner base now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then what's this thing? So that this little is, screen down here is uh, an basically, iPad. Yeah, no, it's a portable screen. Actually, um, you can find them on Amazon. I forgot the brand a name. A portable screen. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really intended for like, uh, like you know, laptops. Like, is it touch screen? It's not. I wish it was. That'd okay. Be super cool. But um, no, it's uh, yeah, it's just a portable screen. And then I had to like, it's USB C, and of course this is a 2011, so it doesn't right. have that. So I had to do like a conversion thing with like a adapter. Yeah. So it's like an air dropped portable screen type thing. But oh, cool. It's cool. You know, I just dropped the console from, uh, you know, UAD and down in there and kind of like, okay, cool. Yep. It's down there while I'm doing stuff in logic. And well, that's great for, uh, if you didn't have your second rig out there. Yeah. To yeah. see, like if you had a wireless mouse and keyboard oh, or yeah. extended to be able to control, like, oh yeah. Guys Which, like me with the, I just it's in the same room, but I gotta walk over there. Yeah. Trying to look look at my screen. I'm yeah, like, you're like, <laughs> can't see, bro. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is it. This is a little spot, but that's amazing. And this is kind of like doubles as you know uh, editing drum room, but also the HQ for drum sample shop. So if I wanted to hire you, how do I hire you? Uh, and I don't have your number. Instagram. Instagram. What's your yeah, Instagram? Yeah. Just Peyton Hilliard. At Peyton Hilliard. At Peyton Hilliard. Yes, sir. Okay, and then drumsampleshop.com. Yes, sir. Do you guys have an Instagram? Yeah, drum sample shop at drum sample shop. And we're always kind of bouncing on that, talking to people and answering questions. So, how much are the sample packs? What's the US UK sample US, pack? US UK is at $39 a pack. And right. uh, yeah, you get a ton of loops, you get a ton of like, you know, builds. Oh, cool. A lot of people want to build. They were yeah. like, we just went boom, 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 and that's yeah. it. And then the King Gong is actually at twenty nine dollars. Okay, for... so seventy bucks to get all of the samples. Yes. And loops. Yes. And builds. Yes. All of the above. That's great. Beep, beep, beep. That's awesome. And and future stuff coming out. Yes, very much excited about that. Mm. Very. It's yeah. It's coming out soon. So yeah, just wait. It's gonna be fun. And there might be some guest features. I, I don't know if I can say that or not, but there'll there'll definitely be some more more drummers on. I want to collaborate with you guys. Come on, bro. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Stay tuned for, for that. <laughs> cool. Well, everyone go follow Payton and Drum Sample Shop and uh, check out the samples. And uh, that's it. That's it. Thank that's you for I having have. me, dude. Thank you. This Thank was, you. This was really cool. And I love drums and I love recording drums and yeah. samples. So this is all my favorite stuff. And Thanks, it's cool bro. that you made it all happen and in literally in a bedroom and a closet. Hey, it, this is actually a great one one pan setup here for me to go. Whoop. Yeah, and right there. Whoop. Yeah, I mean, Whoop. dude. Whoop. Dude, that's it. That's the end of the video. It's We're awesome. done. Peace out, guys.